Welcome to another retro game of the day. Look at Ray Lewis coming out of the tunnel. Oh, baby. It's so realistic. Oh, baby. Look at that route. Look at how he bobbled that catch. Look at the defense being fired up. Look at that ball. Get, get, get that thing about it. Look at John Gruden slamming down his, his clipboard. Look at the drop back. Look at the spin move. Look at the cut block. Look at the helmet coming off. Hello. What's up? What's happening? Welcome back for yet another Miles Dawkins 24 7 production and welcome to your retro game of the day. We're looking at Madden 2002. Now, this is a two piece, man. First game, we got the Colts and the Bengals. It's only going to be like the first drive, first couple of plays. And then we got the Tennessee Titans and we also have the Pittsburgh Steelers. So, it's a quick little breakdown video, not of this game per se, but just some things that I might want to see in Madden 17. A new Madden, a new company making an NFL game. Only one can hope and pray that, that might happen. But for right now, we are stuck with Madden. Anyways, man, the player introductions. Now, for the Bengals, we have the offense coming out. Now, when I play with the Titans, the Titans defense comes out. But last time I checked, the Titans have better offensive players and more exciting, more household names on offensive players like Steve McNair and Eddie George. And also at the end of the player introduction, you also had the coach come out for the Bengals. Their coach was Dick LeBeau, and I was shocked. I did not know that Dick LeBeau was the head coach for the Cincinnati Bengals. I mean, I heard about it, but I didn't know that it was like in the 2000s. I thought it might have been like in the, in like the I don't know, 80s or 90s. I don't know. Anyways, man, we're getting the ball to Corey Dillon. Corey Dillon is someone that we're going to be focused on in this video. Now, we gave the ball to him two straight times, and the crowd did nothing. They were just watching the game. They were excited because he picked up a first down and ran somebody over. But for the most part, they didn't. They just sat on their hands. We give the ball to Corey Dillon again. Up that guy. He picks up a nice game, man. Check out the replay. Nice little replay. You'll see Corey just shake a man up off him. Nobody says his name. But right here, things change. He bounces to the outside. He picks up the first down. Oh, baby. Gets brought down, and now listen. So a couple things I want to point out right there. They did not chant his name every single time that he got the ball. They chanted when he got a big play or when he was getting things going on the ground. They started to recognize Corey, Corey. And I like that. It would be kind of redundant if they did it every single time. But the reason why it could work with a guy like Heath Miller, remember how they chant Heath Miller's name? It doesn't, if there's a Pittsburgh Steelers game on, you will hear Heath being chanted. Why? Because the Steelers fans travel so well. You can hear Heath, Heath, right? I mean, it, it happens, but we don't get that in Madden, right? Anyways, another thing I want to point out is this animation right here with the bobble catch. I like that. I thought it was pretty. I'm thinking that that will work perfectly to kind of negate these aggressive catches. Having somebody who's not the best, you know, at catching bobble the ball, somebody like Sean Taylor comes across his face and delivers the boom, and it's an incomplete pass. Just saying. But there's a couple of people that they get their name chanted. Now, here goes the creative team. They had it back in Man 2002. Just want to point that out. Just, just for the thrills, man. Um... But Victor Cruz, when Victor Cruz used to make a catch, they used to, they used to chant Cruz, you know, in MetLife Stadium. Uh, for the Packers, they chant John Cruz, and they go, Coon, Coon, you know what I mean? And, of course, with Heath Miller, they chant Heath. So I'm just saying, why can't we get that? And I always like to point out little things, little things that can improve the game so much. Yes, gameplay will always be the biggest thing on whether the game can survive or not. But when the game plays solid, like a game like 2K, 2K's gameplay has been solid for year after year after year for the most part. Some years are better than others. Definitely some years are better than others. But for the most part, it's been a solid game year in and year, kind of like MLB The Show, year in and year out. So you have to give things that makes the game fresh, makes the game new, makes the game more exciting. As Jeff Fisher, he's introduced as well. The reason why I bring that out is because if you notice, for the Cincinnati Bengals, the offense was introduced. For the uh, Titans, their defense was introduced, even though Steve McNair and Eddie George are probably the biggest names on the team. Just saying. Another thing, uh, Madden 12 was the last year where you had play introductions, but the coach did not come out at the end. That's kind of nitpicking, I know. But I'm just pointing it out just for the sake of pointing things out. Right here, another thing that will be cool to see is grass in players' helmets. Look at Eddie George to the right of your screen. He has grass in his helmet. Now, I know what you're thinking. There's not too many teams that have grassy fields anymore. However, there are a few that still do. And in those games, you see players get up with grass in the helmet. Nothing on point out. Look at Samari Roll. I'm controlling him. He is affected by that. That is a complete animation that has nothing to do with him. But I ran into the back of Jerome Bennett's butt, and we got bounced back. Now, that right there was a second down play. On that second down play, we stopped him, but nobody is chanting defense. All right? It's third down now. 
Nobody's chance defense. Okay, but here comes another second down play. Looking for Hines Ward. He doesn't make the catch. Listen to the crowd. And that right there just kind of sets the moment that it's a big down. It's a big play. Not every third down is as big as others, but that one was. Now listen to the crowd chant Eddie's name. All I'm saying is that these little things make this game seem fresh. Make this game, even though it's old, even though I wouldn't recommend nobody buying this game, this game freaking keeps things fresh because, again, they don't do it every single play. This is the exact same play I just showed y'all. That's why they're doing it again. But it took five carries, 25 yards, for them to start chanting Eddie George's name. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys get where I'm getting at. And I'll see you guys next time. I hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. I'm going to see y'all later. Peace. Awesome.